everybody, it's 2008, which means it's time for the elections. But what comes before an election? The primaries, that's what. But what is a primary? Well, a primary is when candidates from each political party, both Democrat and Republican, tour the various states and talk to voters. These voters then go to the polls and vote for the candidate that they think should run for the president. Once these votes are totaled, delegates from each state attend a nationally held convention, which when they speak to the other delegates say, hey, we should vote for candidate A to run for president. Once that's done, a platform is in, uh, put forth, and this platform is a set of rules and a set of guidelines that the party itself, the presidential party, whether it be Democrat or Republican, should follow in, while they're in office. Now that you understand what the primaries are, you have to understand who's running. The Democratic candidates are Hillary Clinton, a senator from New York and wife of Bill Clinton, Michael Gravel, a former U.S. Senator from Alaska, and Barack Obama, a U.S. Senator from Illinois. The Republican candidates are Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas and televangelist, John McCain, a U.S. Senator from Arizona, Ron Paul, a U.S. Representative from Texas, and Mitt Romney, the former governor of Massachusetts. Voter turnout among young people has always been low, but will the debates have an effect on Ford Atlantic students, causing them to get more involved? I don't really have the time. I do follow the elections and will vote, and I would like to get involved, it's just I don't have the opportunity to. It doesn't change my outlook on anything. I'm pretty busy as it is. I know one day it'll matter, but right now, I'm just trying to focus on with over half a million dollars being funneled into projects around the university, some students see problems looming over the horizon. It's a lot more of a hassle to get to classes, tuitions, I can imagine are going to go up because of all the money that's going to be invested in it. Others feel that more students should have been allowed to attend the debates rather than the sparse number allotted. It's only going to be like nice and important people that will be able to do that, but since it's held here, it would be, it'd be cool if I could actually be there. One student even believes that the majority of what politicians say is bunk. You know, even if you sit down with that person yourself, you're still probably not going to get the truth because they're always changing their mind from state to state. With all the effort FAU is going through to put their best foot forward for the debates, it seems only right that students positively reflect that effort. Get involved and vote. Make a difference. That is the conclusion this reporter has come to. This is Michael Tremboli for Al TV. On January 16th, about a week before the Republican debates, FAU hosted a Rock the Vote rally and cookout where hundreds of students stopped by to get free food and hear what other students had to say about politics. Hold up. So, I'm so excited for the presidential debates because I volunteered for the debates and I would really like to meet the candidates. I mean, I'm kind of stuck between being a Republican or Democrat. But I think I'm going to go towards the Democrats, so um, this week should be good. And I don't know, it's kind of exciting to see like our school get involved with the debates because it's kind of like bringing the student life into like what our future brings, because this is going to be our future. This is a very momentous occasion in the history of Florida Atlantic University. Vote. Vote or die. Hey, my name is Adam Epstein. I just want to let you know to get out there and vote. Yes. It doesn't matter who you vote for, make it a knowledgeable vote. No taxes on tips, Ron Paul 2008. All right, my name is Chris Thomas. I'm a senior. My major is criminology. I first got onto Ron Paul when I was looking to the 60th Amendment. There have been Supreme Court justices who have said that if you look at the wording of the 60th Amendment, it's unconstitutional. People have challenged it in court. They have won. They're not paying one cent of the federal income tax. And Ron Paul wants to put an end to the federal income tax and the IRS and the Federal Reserve. It can be done. My name is Jason Merritt. My name is Leo Scarpati. We're here with Divided We Fail, which is an initiative being led by AARP and a bunch of other organizations. And we're here to educate voters on important issues like health care and financial security. Um, we're out here asking them to be informed voters and find out what all the candidates have to say about these issues. And so we're passing out information. We've got a whole bunch of little goodies that they can take with them to remind them. Uh, about the, uh, the campaign and tell their friends, pass information along. Definitely, we want FAU students to be informed, especially being that we're going to be having two uh, 
debates here later on next week. So we definitely want to inform on the issues of affordable access to affordable quality health care and lifetime financial security. Hi, my name is Diana. I'm here in Broward County I'm trying to get people to register to vote and know how the importance of their vote counts. That, you know, by one vote, many different people were elected throughout this, you know, country in the past hundred years. Also, this is the first time we have a woman running for president. You know, we have a black man running for president. And then we also have someone as a Christian, as an ex-pastor and governor of a state who's running with high moral values. And he's truly an American for America. And I'd like to just make sure all of you get out there and get to the polls and vote and let your opinion count. Thank you. Hi, my name is Safana Talati and this is... Hi, I'm Ruben Backer. It's my first year here. And we're from FAU College Democrats. The main goal of our club is to promote democratic ideals. And this month, because the primaries are January 29th for the state of Florida, we want to educate people on all the different candidates and hope everyone goes out and votes. And then I'm going to pass the mic to the one and only, right here, number 87. Everybody, y'all, you know, voting is a real important part of, you know, all of us growing up because we're the future. So we try to get all y'all to vote. That way we can all have a voice in what's going on in America instead of sitting back and letting everybody else decide for us. So make sure when y'all see these people walking around trying to get y'all to sign up to be registered voters, go ahead and do that and have a voice. To kick off a whole week of civic engagement, students put together the mock debates where different students represented different presidential candidates on both the Republican and Democratic side. Here's a highlight reel. Check it out.